The reason why we struggle when we read Ephesians 1 is that we think if this is individually, then how does this work? Saying that God chose me and I didn't have a choice and that I came to him because he chose me. We love because he first loved us. That's quite literally what the Bible teaches. There's no confusion whatsoever if you just let the text speak for itself. Blessed be the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, who has blessed us in Christ with every spiritual blessing in the heavenly places. Even as he chose us, it doesn't say each one of us individually were predestined. Groups of people are made up of individuals. You can't have a group of people that are getting predestined if each of them individually isn't getting predestined. God predetermines what will happen. We have the freedom to decide which side of that plan we want to be on. So this is the airplane argument. It usually goes like this. There's an airplane that's predestined to go to Miami. You have the choice to get on it or not. Now, obviously, the plane going to Miami is salvation, and salvation depends on your choice. It's all about you, whether or not you make the right choice. It doesn't depend on God's choice or his mercy or his grace or anything like that, but rather your choice. Jesus calls his his own sheep by name and leads them out. The airplane argument makes it so that God doesn't actually call anyone by name. They're actually calling themselves to God's name. It makes absolutely no sense whatsoever. Salvation is by God's grace and God's grace alone.